Hey y'all, it's Nisha here and welcome to today's video. I know many of you have been getting into skincare like myself. I did a haul around like the VIB sale time, like November, December, where I bought some skincare and just different things to really just take care of my skin. And I've also really been trying to incorporate sunscreen. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't been on it like I should be. It's just so hard because chemical sunscreens aren't like the best for you, but they're the ones that don't have the white cast. And then the mineral sunscreens that are really good for you, they have this awful, just gross white cast. And in my last Chit Chat Get Ready With Me video, I did share a mineral sunscreen with y'all from Tinted that claims to be no cast, but it does have like a slight cast, but that's kind of like the best I've seen for me personally. But I saw a YouTuber named Aisha Haroon, which I love Aisha. If y'all don't watch her channel, you definitely should. She is a whole vibe. I don't know, she just screams like independent black woman, positivity, joy, just all of that. And I just love her videos. And she's like one of the very few black women Muslim creators here on YouTube. And I'm just here for that. And I love supporting her channel. But anyways, she bought this Tower 28, let me get it right, Tinted Sunscreen, and she tried it on her channel and it looked so good. And I was like, hmm, let me try this out because not only is this a tinted sunscreen, it is a tinted mineral sunscreen, okay? I had to get my hands on it because I am going on a few vacations this year. In fact, I'm on my way to St. Lucia in a couple of days. By the time y'all see this video, I will be back from St. Lucia, but I'm going for my best friend's birthday and I am super excited, but I just wanted to really take care of my skin while I'm there. Pick this up. I picked up a bunch of crap in like a birthday collective haul that I have already posted on my channel. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll go ahead and link it up in the cards. I just wanted to try this on camera and just see how it goes because I have just not been having the best of luck with mineral sunscreen. And we're gonna see if this can help me out. And then I have a few other products from that haul video that I want to share with y'all as well. And this video is just gonna be just like a first impressions. I'm not really gonna be chit-chatting or anything. Just giving y'all my first impressions on these new products that I'm trying. If you're interested in this video, definitely stay tuned. But before we try all this stuff out, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week. So if you're subscribed, you done hit that notification bell, then you won't miss another upload from me. And I have not forgotten about y'all. I definitely got that. 10k giveaway coming i just need to come back from vacation and get my mind together and then i will definitely have that giveaway for you all we've already gone ahead and put on our primers and i'll just go ahead and link them down below for you all anything that i don't specifically mention that i put on my face i'll link it in the description box below but let's just get into some of the like details and specs this is by towers 28 and it is their sunny days broad spectrum SPF 30 mineral tinted sunscreen. This is not marketed as a foundation or like a foundation that has SPF. This is a mineral sunscreen that just happens to have some tint to it. I picked mine up in the color Third Street. I would say the color selection is very similar to that of like a tinted moisturizer. So this comes in 14 total shades and I was in between Third Street which is number 60 and also number 55, which is Temescal. I'm not quite sure. Basically, the shade below this was a little bit too light, and this one seems to be a little bit too dark for me right now, but I know once I'm in the sun and get my little tan on, this will probably be a perfect fit. I have the third darkest shade and there's two other darker shades so I would say that it has a pretty good shade range as far as catering to those of us with deeper skin tones I always say if brands just stop at my skin tone then you are missing out on a whole group of my melanated brothers and sisters and y'all don't need to be doing that so glad that, that this actually does come in shades darker than me 
So this claims to be a lightweight, non-greasy mineral protection you'll actually want to wear. That means no white cast. Broad spectrum UVA, UVB, SPF 30 with added complexion, perfecting coverage, and a natural second skin finish perfect for every day. It is alcohol-free, fragrance-free, non-irritating. It's made with powerhouse skincare ingredients that help soothe skin, stress from UV, blue light, and environmental damage. It has some white sage, some prickly pear, some aloe, and quintella? Quintella? Quint centella. I don't know. <laughs> and then it says you just want to apply on your face with your fingers 15 minutes before sun exposure you can use over or instead of moisturizer the way i plan on using this is kind of like a skin tint rather than a sunscreen and so i'm will put like other makeup products on it in fact that's what i'm going to be doing today in this video i'll have a bit of a struggle reapplying this to my face but for the days where I'm just going to the beach and I don't want any makeup on I can definitely see myself reapplying this to my face but if I'm putting like concealer and blush and bronzer and all that other stuff on top then I don't know how that's gonna work out squeeze up some of it onto my hand okay this looks just like my skin let me look at my mirror. This actually is a really good match. I thought this was going to be a lot darker. But this is the color of the actual sunscreen. But then here it shows the color on the packaging. And the color on the packaging is definitely darker than the actual color of the product. It's matching my skin pretty well. But yeah, there's this super goop product that I cannot get my hands on. It's a basically a powder that you can put over makeup, just like a finishing powder or setting powder. And they have translucent, they have light, they have medium, and they have dark. And dark looks like it would be the perfect color for me. But Ulta, they're completely out of the dark. They got all the other shades. Sephora, they're completely out of the dark. They got all the other shades. And I don't want to try translucent. I don't really trust translucent. When things say they're translucent, I'd be like, y'all lying. I think Super Goop's actual website does have the dark in stock, but I wanted to like go in store and purchase it because I don't have much time before I go to St. Lucia. But I think this and the super goop would be a great combination especially if you are planning to wear concealer and blush and other things on top the reapplication you could do with the super goop powder all right y'all so i'm going to give y'all a close-up and this basically just looks like my skin when i look in the mirror this looks like my skin, just very even. It looks really natural. It's got a natural finish, not too dewy, but not matte at the same time. It just has that skin-like finish, which I really do like. Another new product that I bought that I wanted to try out is a little bit bougie, but it's actually not that expensive compared to other concealers. But this is the Lancome Tint Edol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer, and I picked up the color 460 Suede W. So I was in between this color and also, I believe it was 435 Suede W. 435 just seemed a tad too light and this one seemed just a little bit too dark. I wanted a more like highlighted effect because I feel like most of my concealers aren't super highlighting because I tend to shy away from that but I just wanted to try it out and get a little more brightness under my eye. Let's see how this color looks. Let me grab my mirror. Okay, it's a little bit brighter. It's got like a more of like a orange tint to it. I kind of like for my concealer to be more of like, have more of a yellow tint to it. I'm also very interested to see how concealer sits on top of this sunscreen. I'm actually filming. 
Hold on one second, okay? It doesn't look too bad until I get on my nose. Oh, my nose, there's a little bit of like, it's not separation, it just looks like it's not mixing with the tinted sunscreen very well. I don't know, it looks weird on my nose. You can't notice it from afar, but up close. So I don't know if it's because I don't like this concealer, it's not working well with my skin, or if it's just specifically not working well with this tinted sunscreen. I don't know, but so far I'm not really liking the combination together, and I don't know whose fault it is. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and do the rest of my face makeup, and then I have a few things that I want to share with y'all. I have like a new eyebrow product and some lippies. Oh, I do have a powder as well, so when I set my face, I will show you the new powder, but right now I'm just gonna go ahead and set my concealer before it looks any worse. <laughs> Alright, so I went ahead and set my concealer, and my under eye doesn't look too bad, but y'all, my nose, mm-mm, mm-mm. It looks very, like, cakey now that I got the concealer and the powder on. Definitely gonna be trying this Tower 28 Tinted Sunscreen with a different under eye concealer, and then I am going to be trying this long comb concealer with another foundation because I just don't think they work well together. Which I'm glad I'm trying this out now because we're doing like a photo shoot for my friend's birthday, and I would have put this on and look like a straight up clown. But, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with a new power powder that I picked up. This is from Dior. Your girl is fancy. I don't think I've ever owned a Dior product until now. This is their face and body powder, no powder. Powder. <laughs> face and body powder, no powder. I got this in the shade, what color is this? 6N, it doesn't come in too many shades, but I do think that this is probably I think this is the second darkest shade. I think there is a darker shade above. It does look a little bit darker than me in the pan, but I'm sure it won't really matter. So let's just go ahead. Okay, it looks pretty good. It gives me a nice little sheen. It doesn't seem to be too dark. Okay, it's not making me look cakey or anything. All right, I like this, I like this. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put on like my bronzer, my highlight, my blush and all that off camera and we'll come back and do the brows and the lips. I have finished pretty much like my face makeup. So we're gonna get into brows. Now I don't really do too much with brows but I've been seeing commercials, like advertisements on YouTube for this product and this is the NYX, whatever you want to call them, Professional Makeup Thick It, Stick It, Thickening Brow Mascara. And it looks like this. So this is supposed to have like little brow fibers in it to help thicken your eyebrows. I got this in the color black. They had black and I think Espresso. Espresso was a little bit too brown for me. Black seemed a little bit too black, but they did have testers at my Ulta. And I was able to test it out and it wasn't like jet black. So I hope that this color does work out for me. Our Do It All Brow Mascara Thick It Ultra Buildable with Hair Like Fiber Stick Flake Smudge Stick It Flake Smudge and Transfer Resistant Vegan Formula. Blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, I see the fibers already. I don't know if I can show y'all on camera. I don't know if y'all can see the fibers. Let's see y'all, I'm so nervous. Okay, it seems pretty easy to use. I'm not getting this everywhere like I thought I would. Are the fibers really sticking? It looks like it darkened my eyebrow just a little bit, but I don't know if I see that it really thicken them.
All right, these are my eyebrows, y'all. Don't mind me, I do need to like get them threaded and get a shape up, but they look a little bit thicker. Y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think. Do you think that it like thickened my eyebrows a little bit? I picked up the Dior Rouge Forever Liquid Lipstick and I got this in the color 200 Forever Dream. She's like a nice a uh, peachy brownie color. I feel like they call this like a dusty redwood. I am going to go ahead and line my lips. This color on top. I'm gonna add a little bit more brown, so I'm gonna go back in with my lip liner. All right, y'all, there we go. These are the lips. I really do like this color, and I just think that these little Dior Rouge Forever Liquid Lipsticks, they just look so, like, luxurious. I wish this was gold, actually. I'm not really a silver person, so I wish this was gold, but it's still cute. I really do love this color. So I am back. I have finished up my makeup. As y'all can see, all I did was add some mascara. And then I did go ahead and take down my hair. I didn't um, separate it or fluff it out yet. I'll do that actually tomorrow because I'm not going anywhere tonight. But this is the final look and it doesn't look bad. It really doesn't. From far away, it doesn't look bad at all. I'm just questioning this concealer I can see a lot of texture a lot of pores I don't know if it's the concealer by itself like I said or if it's the mixture of the concealer with the foundation sorry this is not a foundation this is a tinted sunscreen so I don't know if I like them together but when I just look at my skin as far as the tinted sunscreen goes I do like it. I like that it's skin-like. It also isn't very oily. I haven't had it on for too long. I've probably had it on for like an hour or so. But I'm super oily and my oils peak through real quick. So the fact that my oils haven't peaked through yet means that I feel like it will hold up a pretty good amount of time. The lippy, I love the lippy. I've been loving this type of color. The brows, I'm actually not mad at. They don't look too bad, especially since I haven't gotten them threaded in like three or four months. I don't see anything on my hand. Let's like rub them now. Hmm, it is transfer proof. I'm rubbing them. Yeah, I don't see anything on my finger, so okay, NYX. So pretty much I've enjoyed everything that I've tried. I just need to try concealer and this tinted sunscreen separately with other products. And the shade match is like literally spot on. So I think I might have found my new go-to sun protection and also like foundation wise with this Tower 28. Again, I am in the color 60. Third Street. I like this. Y'all should definitely try this out and pick it up. Like I said, they have, I think, was it 14 or 16 shades? And they have shades that are deeper than me. So love that for us. But I hope that y'all enjoyed this review and my thoughts on the few little makeup and uh, skincare items that I tried out for you all. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up because it really helps my channel. And as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye! Oh.